Being a Resident Evil fan, Postcode Veronica has had its ups and downs. From the breath of fresh air that was Resident Evil 4, then on a downward spiral all the way to the mediocre trying too hard antics of Resident Evil 6, and then back in the right direction with the Resident Evil Revelation series. It seems that Capcom were finding it difficult to readdress the right balance between action and atmosphere, the more modern games turn out to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. So at E3 2016, Capcom announced the next game in the series, Resident Evil 7. Alongside that announcement, they also announced you could download the demo straight away, Resident Evil The Beginning Hour, showing off the new style of the game, now in a first person view. The demo sparked all kinds of speculation. It divided opinion in most cases. Is this a new lease of life for the franchise, or is this the Outlast ripoff they're just knocked up for the VR to cash in? On January 24th, 2017, Resident Evil 7 finally dropped. The first thing is the first person view in the controls. I have to say this is a complete pass for me. The view works really well, and I can see how this game would be pretty intense on VR. And the standard first person control layout works fine. This is one Resident Evil game where the controls don't really get in the way of the gameplay. They're completely serviceable. The weapons are the usual Resident Evil lineup and all feel great to use. The game centers around a girl called Maya, who is supposedly dead. Three years later she sends a mysterious message to her boyfriend. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. Special place waiting for you. Yeah, if this seems a bit derivative, it's because it is. The whole game is like this, taking influence from the likes of Silent Hill and movie titles such as The Evil Dead and definitely the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This brings me to the family. The Baker family are like the nemesis of the game. Most of the time, the conventional weapons you have on you will not kill them or even effectively hinder them. Often you will have to opt for stealth and give these people a wide bath. <laughs> these characters bring the most to the game. The enemy variety is a bit lacking with only three types of mole monster in the game. So having these crazy indestructible maniacs roaming around the place definitely puts the player on edge. So with a switch in view to first person and all these movie homages going on, is there any of the classic Resident Evil we know and love in here? That's a definite yes. This game comes closer to the classic formula than any other game in the series has done in a long time. In particular about 70% of the game takes place in the Baker's family house and the surrounding buildings. This is where you will need to find keys, solve puzzles and manage your inventory, with the save rooms in full play. It's like going around the Spencer Mansion in first person. I will say towards the end of the game it seems a bit padded, once you leave the spooky derelict house for the less colourful and atmospheric setting. But that first bit of the game has little nods to the other games in the franchise around every corner. If you swapped the view out and added tank controls, it would pass for a classic Resident Evil. It's all very new and exciting, and I would definitely be excited to see another game done in this style in the Resident Evil series. If I was going to criticise anything, I would say perhaps the puzzles need to be a bit more elaborate and a bit more taxing. On my first playthrough, I did the main story in about 10 hours but it did seem like there was plenty of other stuff that I didn't explore, so the replayability looks pretty good on this one, as well as there being a ton of DLC in the pipeline. In summary, it's the perfect jumping on point for people new to the series, and all fans will definitely find something to like about it. And if you're still hankering for some fixed camera angles and tank controls, Resident Evil 2 Remake is round the corner, so hold out for that. Thanks for watching and farewell. Welcome to the family, son. Ugh.